pose for the camera. Hey guys, welcome to Nerd Locker Podcast, your entertainment podcast for everything in music, television, video games, and more. My name's Adam. And I'm Oliver. I said music, television, video games, and more. Movies, television, video oh, games. Oh yeah, I didn't even notice that actually. I fucked up. <laughs> Man, almost 100 episodes in. and We're almost 100 in? Yeah. It doesn't feel like 100. Yeah. I feel like we'll get started. It's, been a it's like episode four, right? Nah, dude. It's been two a week since are we, December Are we including... Are we including COVID stuff like that year? Yeah. Okay. Well, no, not including COVID stuff. Oh, this okay. is literally since December of last year. Wow. Yeah. Doing work. We're doing work. All right. I don't so, know, what did we watch today? We watched the season premiere of Loki season two. And damn. It was a hot damn. start. Damn. Okay. So I, I'm going to preface this with I saw a lot of people's reviews and they say like a Apparently, people that have seen like the first four episodes okay. said it's like underwhelming. I don't know about that. Based on at least in our opinion, there I was think a lot going on. This. Yeah, there was a lot going on. It was interesting. It kept you on the edge of your seat, and like, we kind of almost a little bit like got an ending. Like we completed an entire objective in this yeah. episode. So and like, it's, so basically, we open up with Loki running from Mobius because they're hunting him down because they don't know who the hell he is. And he time slips, or he basically, he jumps off the side of the fucking thing and, like, expects Hugh Yang with his fucking Crazy droid, this. like, to come up. He pulls an Ahsoka moment of just, like, a Hail Mary off the fucking side and lands in... A mail truck. A mail truck that crashes into, like, the fucking TVA, like, where... Uh, Weirdly enough, yeah. Yeah. And... <laughs> fucking falls. He's dead. Like... Dude, I don't understand. Yeah, that the the dr- the poor driver. I want I want to see that driver again show up. And the thing is, what I'm looking for my phone. Oh, I don't know. Oh, it's right there. Oh, so uh, what happens after that? So falls and then yeah, right. So the driver, he Loki's fine, by the way. He even says, "I'm fine. Thanks for checking up on me, guys." The driver then falls basically to her death in this mail truck, and, and he's it's just flying and, around, which he's like. She's fine. Which, in then case, he's trying to talk to Casey, yeah. and he ends up <laughs> time slipping back to where back to present time. The present time, which finds Casey. Casey remembers Loki. Loki freaks out and basically time slips again away. To which Casey then finds Mobius and B fifty two. He's like, uh, I just spoke to Loki. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, let me see. Is it B fifty two? I think or it's B fifteen. B fifteen. Yeah, so B-15, and they... B-52 is a band. <laughs> B-52s, yeah. All right, there's... I fucked up. Anyways... Uh, You're two for two today. You're two for two. So then, like, Loki ties us back after they leave to go to the war room, because mm-hmm. they're called by the council, and Mobius and B-15 are with the council, and they're basically saying, like... Bruh. Yeah, like, <laughs> everything just got disassembled, but there's one person... Uh, that she decides, like, oh, this can't still be the thing. Like, we got to prune these timelines. And Loki time slips back in after he was in that room in the past where you see all of the Kang, like, mural. Like, yeah. it's like five Kangs. And he ends up using the pruning stick to prune that back, which we've seen in the trailers, uh, to show that behind what your it was mural in the past. of what it was. Yeah, this is what it was. So that proves to everyone, like, what's going on. Loki time slips out again and then comes back. And Mobius says, come with me. We're going to go somewhere. And it's a place he remembers, but vaguely. And he goes down to... Yeah, how does he know where to go? That's the thing. He doesn't know why. But it's because he was there before. He just doesn't fully remember everything about it. I wonder why was he there before then? It was just like 300, 400 years ago. But basically, yeah. anyway, you could, it's like, a, what was the area called? It's like, it's not research and development. It's no, like they, advanced and mechanical or something. So, something like that. But they go down and they have Ouroboros, who is OB. Uh, and they talk to him about, like, what's going on with Loki. And when he sees Loki slip out of time, he's like, oh, time slipping. 
And Loki goes back because when he goes in and out of time, he goes back to the same location. Mm -hmm. So now he's there with Obi in the past. past. And that gives him the time to, like, get a... Feed him information so that in the future you would know. That was cool. I like that. Ends up, like, working out to where now he time slips back and they have this device. But apparently (laughs) this device is supposed to, if it fails, will rip off the skin of Mobius, which... He's not doesn't, a fan of. He's, he's not, not a fan, fan of. of. And so he's like, all right. Uh, so Loki's like, let's go do it. So they go off to see like where basically you can see the timelines. And they're like freaking out. And we now know we have to prune these timelines. So mm-hmm. we do have to kill off these timelines. And um, basically Loki time slips away back to the TV or back to what seems as the past. And it's find out future. it's the future and the I, only indication is because mobius wrote on the computer oh yeah because Roby- yeah he wrote skin question mark because <laughs> no one cares for his skin and um <laughs> anyways so loki ends up hearing a phone call as he's like going through the future yeah, some random phone freaking in the out. Corner. and the phone's ringing for some reason and then he sees like the elevator opening up and it's Sylvie. And then all of a sudden he gets pruned from behind because he and needs we to don't be know pruned for this to work. They got to retrieve him out of time after he gets pruned or like at the end of time and, or the void, whatever it is, bring him out of that. So like there is that going what on. What is up with that phone call though? What do you got? What do you, like... I have a funny feeling that something must have happened where like, it seemed like it was a team effort, so I think like they knew, or like Loki probably told them like, "Hey, well, I'm gonna hear a phone Sylvie ring." Sylvie was definitely like looking for him. Yeah, so I think what happened was, in like he was saved, obviously. So they're gonna keep going forward in these episodes, and I think what's gonna happen it's gonna be a full circle moment. So where like to the point where they're like, "We did it, we won," or like, "How do we get back to this point all the time?" And Loki tells them, "I heard a phone ring. I saw Sylvie." I was pruned. So, like, they just, then they just have to go and do that again. Yeah. I so, maybe that might be it. I'm not entirely sure. I don't know. This seems really, really confusing. Maybe that's why people didn't really like it because they're like, in the, maybe in by the first four episodes, we still don't know what the fuck's going on. I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I, I kind of like the complicatedness of it. I do too. Like, I feel like I'm glad, like, I don't, I can't, like, predict where it's going. Right. Exactly. And that's and, the complicated thing about timelines, like, or just time travel in general. Like, yeah. that genre is really hard to do. So, um, there is something I want to touch base with you about, but before that, Here's a word from our sponsor. Thank you for BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. BetterHelp is the world's largest therapy service and it's 100% online. With BetterHelp, you can tap into a network of over 30,000 licensed and experienced therapists who can help you with a wide range of issues. To get started, you can just answer a few questions about your needs and preferences in therapy. That way, BetterHelp can match you with the right therapist from their network. Then you can talk to a therapist however you feel comfortable, where it's text, chat, phone, or video call. You can message your therapist at any time and schedule live sessions when it's convenient for you. If your therapist isn't the right fit for any reason, you can switch to a new therapist at no additional cost. With BetterHelp, you can get to the same professionalism and quality you expect from in-office therapy, but with a therapist who is custom-picked for you. Any schedule and flexibility and at a more affordable price. So get 10% off your first month with at betterhelp.com slash nerdlocker. The link is going to be right down below in the description. Man, I can't believe how addicting Cinnamon Toast Crunch is. <laughs> right? What are you wearing? A shirt? You're, you're into scary movies, right? Kinda. Eh, I see it. Anyway, there's a sick brand that I know of. Um, They make a bunch of like horror-esque type of here i tell you what let me just better oh i like that that's yeah. cool yeah. you know who makes that who seventh ink really all artwork original wow that's yeah, you cool. got a little little bats on you but what about you what about me oh but what about your mask? Oh. 
Well, get off the ad, dipshit. I mean, these shirts are awesome, though. Like, they're really comfortable. They fit nice. Like, Honestly, this is like great. One at you. This is pretty lightweight. They don't shrink. And yeah. It's like, it's it just, like, come on, just look at me. This is great. You know what? You want to grab some popcorn and watch a scary movie? What's your favorite scary movie? <laughs> what the f*** was that? Dude, I smell. I cannot wait to take a shower. What? And we're back. So, uh, one of the things that's... Okay, so we know that all these timelines are, like, slipping out. We have to prune them. And we know we're getting to Avengers Secret Wars. Mm -hmm. And I think that this is going to lead into that in a weird way with Kang Dynasty. But... Before I get into more of that, I just forgot. Let's finish off this episode. Um, we also have... So af after uh, Mobius ends up successfully being pruned in the future, he's pulled out of the timeline into with Mobius, like, saves him by, like, crashing into him. They get in, and, yeah, so it seems like everything... Yeah, well, good the, right the, the post-credit, though. <clears throat> and then we have our post-credit scene, which, finally, they're back. Uh, haven't had no. a post credit scene on anything in a while. Secret Did, Invasion. No, didn't Secret Invasion have last episode? Oh. And Ahsoka had none. Ahsoka, yeah, Ahsoka didn't have any. So, like for us, it's like yay. Um, we get a post credit scene which is Sylvie in 1982, and she stumbles onto a McDonald's. Yeah. And she just seems to be in love with the time, and she's like, "Give me one of everything." As this guy's ratting off everything that they fucking have. I don't think she said, "Give me one of everything." She was looking around the she room. Said, "I'll try everything." And he's like, "Oh, okay. right." But I think that's implied that like it's she more, wants yeah. to like have a relationship, have a family. She wants to try and live a normal life. I don't know about a relationship, but yeah, or like you know, a normal person. Yeah, she wants <laughs> to be a normal person, which is fine. Uh, so, and then we know in trailer footage that eventually Loki will show up there and see her, what, whatever time that is. It could be, like, 1984. So they're like still, like, later. are they still, like, a thing? Wolf we'll Even out. after the fight? I, that don't, I don't know. I'm not it's sure. It's still kind of weird, though, isn't so, it? So, what do you rate the episode? Um, I'll give it, like, an eight. An eight? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I thought the length was fine. It's, we talked about, like, it seemed longer than it should have been. Yeah. There was a couple of really good shots in there that I noticed. Um and I like that it got like a beginning, middle, end type deal. Like I yeah. like I'm if this was the last episode, I like it would have been fine. Yeah. <laughs> uh so basically the theory I have is we're getting to Secret Wars, we're getting to Kang Dynasty. Mm -hmm. And in Secret Wars, based on the comics, they have Battle World. And with Battle World, you have all of these different universes basically battling it out on one place to see what universe survives right okay so if these timelines seem to be pruned and we know that deadpool is going to have a lot of different timelines and the fox universe and what looks like the void itself there could be some with secret wars be an actual like battle and they need to do it the only way to protect the sacred timeline is to do that so we might be seeing the repercussions of what's happening in loki in marvel movies going forward so this show might be very pivotal into like even as soon as the marvels let alone like the daredevil series let alone um any other sequels that are coming out in the future of movies the thunderbolts movie like all that stuff like it, it all captain america can ripple out mm -hmm. to where like these timelines are fucking things up like in the background whether they be post credit scenes or within the actual plot line itself <clears throat> so that's my that could be an easy shoe in interesting the thing that i read today was this is pure rumor guys i don't i personally don't think they would but who the fuck knows dude uh rumor has it that <laughs> marvel has been very very hesitant to announce anything about kang dynasty and obviously there's some legal troubles with jonathan majors which the trial is now being postponed to October. wait what do you do we already know this is that. Oh, yeah. This, this has that. been a thing. Yeah. So his trial that's going to make be a big determinant is happening on October 25th. So Marvel has been very, like, mum on the whole situation. And they're probably waiting it out, right? Mm -hmm. But this is the thing. So rumor has it that they've been waiting it out because depending on the verdict, they haven't started filming. 
And if they don't, they might just can the movie altogether. Yo, no, they won't. That's like, they've recasted before. I know, but the thing is, is will they need it? Because the rumor is fueled by the fact that apparently Deadpool 3 is going to be laying the seeds for Secret Wars where audience members would probably be like, I just want to get right to Secret Wars. I don't give a shit about King Dynasty. Uh So, like, Deadpool 3 is supposed to be carrying that, which makes me wonder if Loki does link to Deadpool 3 and the way they're doing these timeline things, they might not need to do King Dynasty. And I don't say that with the fact that I want that to happen. I'm just saying, like... It's a possibility. It might just get canned. And that's that's if he's found guilty. Yeah, that's crazy. So, like, it's just weird because they're definitely advertising him, like, through this. He's still allowed to be in, like, Loki. Yeah, and he was in in Ant-Man, right? Yeah. So, I don't – well, that was before everything happened. Oh, true. So, like, I don't know if Disney filmed, like, an extra scene where they killed him in Loki. Like, dead, dead. So, like, we don't need to have King Dynasty. You know what I mean? I don't know. Like, I feel like that's been so together. hyped up for so it's long. Been so hyped up, and he was the villain of Ant Man. Yeah, like, I, like <sighs> I don't know. I mean, fingers crossed, he's not guilty. I, I, I hope they figure it out because, like, again, the character is like there's so many variants. Mm-hmm. Like, they could recast. Yeah, with anyone. that'd be cool. They could. Like, it doesn't need to necessarily be someone that looks like. Him. I mean, any Brody is. But no, I'm just saying it could be anyone. Like it could be a white guy, it could be a female. Like it doesn't have to necessarily be right. like a look alike of Jonathan Majors. So who the fuck knows? I don't know. I I personally don't think that they should cancel it, but I also do believe that they could can it and still be fine. And still be fine. Yeah. Hmm. Like what are your thoughts? I don't even know if I have any. I just don't want it to happen. Like, you'd rather see the movie, right? Yeah, I want to see Because I don't – for someone that doesn't know it that much about it, yeah. especially Kang, and we've been, like, hyping it up – or they have been hyping it up for so yeah. long now, I want to know more about them, obviously. The, so, like – This is, like, how I see it. Like, if you get rid of it, what you would have to do is Disney then has to go back into at least the Disney Plus, not necessarily the DVD releases and the Blu-ray scripts are already out, but they would have to go into Disney Plus and cut out that post credit scene at the end of Ant-Man. That shows mm-hmm. all the multiple Kangs because it doesn't even matter. Right. So, like, that would be the only thing. Like, they would have to go into Disney Plus and then cut it. And I think if they do decide to do that, then that tells us right there, like, where their plans are going. Like, if he's found guilty kind of thing. Like, yeah. if they just cut it, that means, like, oh, they're not even going to do Kang. If they don't, it's like, oh, they just might recast. So I, I doubt think that'd they'll, be a I doubt they'll do that because then they can't change anyone that, like, bought the DVD. Doesn't matter. That DVD would have sold very well on eBay. Yo, that's true, though. Do you have it? I don't have it. Wait, do I have it? Ant-Man and... Oh, wait, I might Ant-Man have it. Ant-Man Quantumania. Do you? I think you do. Wait, is that it up there? Where? All the way in the top? Like, second to the top? No, that's a Captain America thing. Oh, well, I guess sucks Maybe to I... suck. Yo, do I got this bitch? I don't even know. Sucks. I gotta check later. Sucks I don't know. Sucks to suck. I might have it. Maybe. All right. Um, real quick, we have just enough time for a couple of quick tidbits of information that I sent you. Um, wait, really quick. Disney Plus going up in price. Oh, okay. I got a thing today that said Disney Plus. I believe I have Hulu attached to it. It's going up to $24.99. I hope that's the bundle. It's gotta be. There's no fucking way. Whoa. (laughs) I don't know where that came from. There's no fucking way. <laughs> Why did you I went, become Italian? Like, I don't know. I don't know what that was. I don't know what that was. <laughs> There's no fucking way. <laughs> There's a little bit of New Yorker in me. It's still. Ugh. Yeah. But yeah, there's no way that's $25 for just one service. They'll never get anybody. Dude. It's got to be like the Hulu ESPN thing. Yeah. Um, so a couple of things, uh, that I want to just quickly gloss over. We brought it up in the last episode, but fans are convinced that Taylor Swift will be playing Dazzler yeah. in Deadpool 3. Because they were at the, uh, the game. Yeah. All of them. Yeah. So, uh, I don't mind it. I don't care. 
Has she's she, acted before. She had. She was in Cats, but that bombed. And she was also in Valentine's Day. It was like oh, this weird. That was like, like two seconds, and that had like every star known to man. Yeah, well, she was one of them. I can't believe. I don't know. They they'll do it. They they'll, probably honestly. So okay, here's the thing. They'll do it. I don't think she'll like it. <laughs> we'll find out. If they could get Brad Pitt to come in as the fucking invisible guy, oh, yeah, die, was... they could get Taylor. Yeah, Smith but Brad guy. Pitt, I feel like, has more of a sense of humor, maybe. I don't know. No, she does too. She's fine. Okay. Uh, and She's then... fine. Sorry. <laughs> the other thing is uh, there was a picture, and I sent this to you, that showed, and someone said, is this Sam Witwer? And it was the picture of the Mortis gods and the sun, which represents the dark side. The statue kind of had that cleft chin that Sam Witwer has. Yeah. And a lot of people are thinking like, oh, maybe some of the voices we heard and why he was credited was maybe he was heard subtly in the audio. And we never even fucking noticed. I mean, when like Balin like looks because the thing is, is the daughter, her statue was destroyed, like her head's right. Gone. So it's like, it just seems like it's the balance and then that. And it kind of seems like maybe Balin might not be the father, but might be the son. Because father kind of seems like it's already been Anakin. Because he's supposed to be the balance of the force. And in Clone Wars, the father says, you're supposed to replace me. Like, specifically. And I think that's why Anakin can do what he did with Ahsoka in the World Between Worlds. Because that wasn't his force ghost talking to her. That Mm -mm. was Mortis God version of Anakin talking to her. And I think, honestly, looking back at some of the character development, and I don't think it was done because obviously they're deciding, maybe deciding this now. Who knows what they know in the writer's room and how long it's been going on. But I have a funny feeling that like the way that Luke acted in the new trilogy, because there's no way in hell that like Luke didn't talk to his Force Ghost father. Right. So what if that Force Ghost father, being the Mortis God and could talk to anyone kind of like with Ahsoka – would come down and tell his son like everything, like what he is and stuff like that. So it kind of makes the knowledge that Luke has by the new trilogy make sense because he probably already knew my father's now more just God. Like you can be like people will replace. And I think that's why Balin was going there because I think he's supposed to represent the uh the son and probably Ahsoka represents mm-hmm. That, which leans more proof, not into necessarily that Balin is the kid from Order 66. Action. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Camera cut out. Uh, so, essentially, like, it just probably means that Balin is at least an apprentice of Anakin. That's what I believe. That'd be kind of neat, though. So, whether or not he's the kid from Order 66 doesn't really matter. I have a funny feeling that Anakin had another apprentice while he was, like... Darth Vader in the beginning. You know what's interesting? So like, <clears throat> I maybe it's in the Darth Vader comics. Who knows? Maybe I'm not putting two I and two together because I didn't read those. Fully, I didn't read those so either. yeah. But what's interesting is like a lot of like Jedi's have like a signic like a Force signature move. For yeah. example, like uh, Anakin had his Force choke. Yeah. Alps has his Force lightning. Mm-hmm. For someone to teach, like, did Balin? He didn't. I I can't recall. But if he used any specific like similar Force stuff that could prove to be like a better reason that he's an apprentice but he was mostly like really lightsaber well trained lightsaber wise so like i don't know it's it's interesting it might be but i mean going back to like the point of this though is sam whitwer as the son oh right bro that'd That'd be be dope fucking great dude sam whitwer back dude because the thing is is like obviously the way that it was in clone wars Spoilers for people that haven't watched it, uh, but it's been a while. Uh, essentially, the son kills the daughter, which explains the statue. Mm-hmm. And then the father sacrifices himself to make the son mortal so he can be killed. And Anakin is there through all of this and is told all of the prophecy and how he is supposed to be. You're the in like season four then or something, aren't you? Uh, five. Oh, wow. So <laughs> we have all of this crazy shit happening and yeah so mortis gods might be a thing in the future who knows if they recast ray stevenson who we'll we'll see what they end up doing yeah that's a big shoes to fill jesus and then last thing is we talked about it before but 
One Piece showrunner has now confirmed that they are writing a character with Jamie Lee Curtis in mind. Yes, I saw that. Which seems fun. Heck yeah. You you see how many seasons they expect? No, I didn't see that. Twelve. I th- <laughs> said one piece might run up to 12 seasons <laughs> i wish this was alcohol <laughs> well okay but it's not like supernatural 12 or like walking dead 12 it's like 10 All episodes right. first per. off fuck you i how is that an insult supernatural and 15 that's the insult you just proved my point even more. I know that, but that would, but Supernatural and uh, most of Walking Dead, hold on, most of Walking Dead aired when cable was the norm. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's a little different. This is expecting people to pay a Netflix subscription that has went up in price for the next oh, at least. I'm, it's not coming out once a year. We know that shit. Netflix don't do that. Look at Stranger Things. Right. It's going to be at least once every two years. So they think so that wait, people are going to – So wait, was cable free for you or – I'm just – no, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that Netflix can't just bank on one piece for the next 24 years. I don't know. There's one way to find out. Because if they're planning or trying to do 12 episodes, we have to keep in mind, this is already – 12 written. seasons. 12 seasons. What is it? Episodes. <laughs> this is already written out for them. Like, it's less work. For the – okay, so the – for the most part, because the thing is, it's just like they did with the first season and they kind of combined arcs together. They're going to have to do that continuing going forward because the thing is, it's regardless, again, let's go down this rabbit hole. You want this to go 12 seasons. Mm-hmm. Your actors mm-hmm. won't look the same if two years per season in the next 25 years. Which means we're going to have to pump it out. <laughs> That's the thing. They are going to have to pump it out, which is, again... Are you going to be able to hit the supply and demand considering the strikes that happen, considering everything else, considering the sicknesses that are going around? Like, yeah. are you going to be um, able to, like, commit to that? And if not, let's say you get canceled after season five. Mm-hmm. How quick can you catch up? Right. Like, can you give a satisfying think... ending to the people that are watching and liking the show? Yeah, I don't even think and correct me if I'm wrong in the comments or, or anything. I don't even think it's over like One Piece in general. No, anime. it's not. So... I guess we'll just wait and see. Yeah, Have you finished the first season. I yeah, I the, I think it's a great show. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Well, that's a lot. Yeah, I don't know about that. Jesus. That's Netflix crazy. has to get more shit on their stream on their service that people want to see. They can't just rely on that because honestly, as soon as Stranger Things, what do we got? Over, we what got, they got Stranger Things. And they're, and That's then, about it on my end. I guess One Piece, and then what is that? It singularly, Stranger Things is the only reason I've kept Netflix. There's wait, no, what? Oh, and that's over. I was watching it also for Pokemon, but that's it. Wait, what? Which one? The the newest Pokemon oh, like show right. yeah, has yeah. always been on Netflix as yeah, an yeah, exclusive. Yeah. So like, that's the only reason. Yeah, I've seen Ash's that... final episodes. Like, can't put a price right, on that. Right, right, right. But other than that, like, look, look at Paramount Plus. I could watch all three seasons of Ned's Declassified on Netflix. I could watch the first two. Why do I want fucking Netflix? Yeah, I don't even want Ned's Declassified. But like, why do I want Netflix? Yeah, I don't even. I can't even think of. Yeah, another tell show. me of something. I'm show thinking. Or movies in general, like. What's the biggest movie you've seen on Netflix? Where you're like, wow, I'm really glad I have this Nothing. fucking service. Yeah, they're like slacking a lot. Yeah. Of stuff. I don't get it. All right, we got to wrap this up. Anyways, uh, other than that, where can they find you? You can find me at the Sphere 21 on any social media platform except for TikTok. I am Oliver Khan VA. And you can find me at AMR Photography. You can find the studio at Archangel Studios Official. And you can find this podcast at Nerd Locker Podcast, wherever you get your podcast. See you guys next time. What? I thought you were going to say something. I was. I thought about it. But I'm good. <laughs>